a brief update from Iceland. Uh, we have uh, breaking news about the land rise uh, next to Blue Lagoon, just um, west of Blue Lagoon. There was an interview again with um, the most famous Icelandic volcanologist, you know him already, Thorvaldur Thordrason, in the morning newspaper. And he discusses this land rise that took place um, in uh, last hours. And uh, let's take a look at it. Land at Swar Sengi is now rising much faster than it did before the earthquakes on November 10th, or about 5.5 times faster. You know, on November 10th, we had very powerful earthquake swarm in Grindavik, which caused all those damages in the city and which causes the evacuation of the town. But now, uh, the land rise is much faster than this. It's 5.5 times faster. The, the inflow of magma is about 10 times more. So, earth is swelling, obviously, due to the magma income. The flow of magma into the storage chamber, which is at uh, 4.5 kilometers deep, is at 8 and 10, 10, 8 to times more than what people were talking about before November 10th. And if we look at the earthquakes, they all happen at this depth, not really shallow. They are not really shallow, not many shallow earthquakes. Most of them are at about 4 kilometers. That's where this activity is taking place. So we have 8 times more magma coming in into that um, chamber than before. So all the action takes place under the ground. We don't have any overspills yet. Back on November 10th, uh, there was 5 to 7 cubic meters per second of magma coming in into that chamber. But now it's about 50 cubic meters per second. And the land is therefore rising much faster now. And this goes in hand as magma is creating the space and lifting the surface and earth up the reason for this upswell which is uh, 5.5 times, 5 .5 times faster than back on November 10th is due to the inflow of magma so the activity doesn't stop nobody knows how it's going to end and if this continues uh, Thorvaldur believes Svartsenki will have reached its previous position in 5 to 15 days what will happen then it's difficult to say we have we can have either eruption it translates as well google translate or we can have a repeat of november 10th or something completely new so we might have a new powerful earthquake swarm or we might have an eruption pretty soon uh, I think the chances are always getting bigger and bigger if, uh, of an eruption on the northern side of Sunuka uh, craters or then in Itlahroi next to Blue Lagoon. So I think the probability of an eruption there is increasing because of the land uh, rise that is there. Uh, Torvaldur believes it is important to consider preventive measures as the new reality faces us. We have entered a new reality in the period of volcanic eruptions on the Reykjanes and as a result it is very constructive for us to think about what kind of preventive, preventive measures we can take. Image of upswell land rise uh, right next to Blue Lagoon from Icelandic Met Office in the past two days. You see the reddish area marks the area where we have registered the biggest land rise uh, in the past days. It had been five times uh, more comparing uh, to November 10th uh, when uh, we had uh, those powerful earthquakes shaking green that were causing a lot of damage. How this will land nobody knows really. Perhaps we will see the eruption anytime soon. And it might be along the edges of uh, this reddish um, dot, especially to the east, where we have the most of earthquakes. So magma not will break, not necessarily straight in the middle, but it looks like it's moving to the side, spilling over into that magma dike, which run, runs along the eastern edge of this upswell. Let's take a look at the next image. Here we are looking at the visual representation of what is going on, an illustration. Uh, you see when magma is breaking under, 
uh, we have an obstacle that is what is happening next to Blue Lagoon, west of Blue Lagoon. But it's not necessarily that it will break straight up. It, it is spilled into the sides and it's spilled into the magma dike towards Grindavik. That's where we have the magma intrusion. So very likely uh, it's very possible that magma will break to the surface on the edges of this upswell either side. Most likely uh, in Grindavik um, area or somewhat to the north of Grindavik. Um, this is uh, how it looks in terms of um, visual representation. Now let's take a look at the earthquakes in the past 24 hours of every magnitude. As you see, they do not stop, in, they are all concentrated, most of them, on Reykjanes Peninsula, either next to Klevervat Lake, here to the right, or uh, along the magma dike, uh, magma intrusion in Grindavik. As you see, they have been quite numerous during the past 24 hours, and mainly north of Grindavik, not really in the city itself, but somewhat to the north along that mountain that we previously pointed out, Silingarfet, and also Hagafet mountain. But let's filter them by the depths. Uh, that is a very important factor, I would say. At the depths of two kilometers, very few earthquakes, shallow earthquakes, actually. Well, uh, some of them are close to the mountain Thorpeard. Here, that's where we have upswell here to the left of the mountain, next to the road. And there are some also here uh, to the north, next to Silengrafat, the shallow earthquakes. And uh, let's check a bit uh, deeper, let's say 10 kilometers. Uh, like you see quite many if you go deeper, 10 kilometers. But what about 4 kilometers? Okay, 4 kilometers. It's uh, next to all next to the ceiling of Atl Mountain and Hag of Atl Mountain. Not really in the city itself, not many in the city. So the activity is ongoing. And also something is happening always next to the lake here, you see. Quite uh, some earthquakes next to the Cleverwood Lake. But uh, all those uh, volcanic systems of uh, Reykjanes Peninsula, they are of course interconnected in why, uh, one way or another, because all together they form the tectonic rift between uh, North American and Eurasian tectonic plates. and. Uh, those earthquakes might be connected with the magma intrusion in Grindavik. Well, they definitely are most likely. I don't think there is an intrusion here, uh, but this is some sort of reverberation from uh, from Grindavik. In, do, do we have earthquakes uh, in um, uh, where we had volcanic eruption here in Meradalir? Yes, yeah, some some earthquakes even happen in Meradalir. You see. You know, next to in Meradalir here in Gelingadalur, here and there, uh, just also next to the new lava field at Little Hrutur. Uh, so they happen all over the place, also in the ocean, as you see. The number of earthquakes somewhat subsided. In total, we have 755 earthquakes in the past 48 hours from now on, uh, 20th of November. 1 p.m. here in Iceland right now. Well, and most of them are here uh, around uh, Grindavik, as you see. Fagradalsfjall, Fagradalsfjall. So, Grindavik, Grindavik, Grindavik. Fagradalsfjall, west of Fagradalsfjall. Uh, this is five kilometers west of Fagradalsfjall. It's um, a clear water area that's next to the lake. The rest is Grindavik, 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 Grindavik. Green David, Green David, Green David, Green David, all the way. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if we would have eruption in Fagradas Shuttle again, considering they are coming within the period of several months. Even now, you know, you never know where the magma is going to break through to the surface, really. Um, uh, when it comes to the magnitude of earthquakes, um, uh, we had only only magnitude 2, 27 earthquakes, uh, magnitude 2 to 3, and 267 magnitude 1 to 1. 
and the strongest are in Grindavik area as you see and magnitude 3 and larger uh, just only one earthquakes 3 kilometers north of Krisovik magnitude 3.7 that is next to the lake like it's more like closer to Fakardasfeld than to Grindavik it's only one earthquake there big earthquake otherwise the number of earthquakes decreased well Nobody knows if we are going to, er to have eruption, but very likely, very likely, says earthquakes don't stop. Uh, though uh, we did have upswell uh, at Askia volcano, in, I think it was 2020, in the interior part of uh, Iceland, and it did uh, it didn't erupt, though there had been upswell. So it ups land rise does not mean the magma still will break through, very likely, but nobody can guarantee that for sure.